It's Tom from Texas and it's time for another floppy deep dive. And tonight we're going to be doing, continuing our series of doing what's on that floppy. And we got another floppy here. We're going to be going over uh, some games, a demo, and some utilities on here. Or maybe just one utility on here. But check it out this floppy. This is the last floppy in the first segment of the 10 here. So we've gone through 10 in case number two. We still got all these still to go through for the case. And I hope y'all are enjoying these videos from the comments that I'm getting, the likes that I'm getting. I believe y'all are liking them. So I'm just continuing on. And I hope you're getting some memories, seeing some games you might have played before or maybe never seen before. I uh, also want to say that Floppy Deep Dive has turned one year yeah. old. Now. So I've been doing this for about a year. We got about a little over 1,100 uh, subscribers, which is great. More than you know I anticipated or really didn't know how far it would go but thank you for all the ones who support me watch my videos each week and uh, leave in the comments and everything else that really means a lot to me and I've really made some uh, met some really nice people out there in this community and, and love the retro community Commodore community uh, it's just been so much fun this past year and so going to keep it going on another year So let's just keep going keep building. So go ahead and grab a joystick pull up a chair and let's get started So the first game we're going to look at is bounces. I Never ever pronounced it with the s. I always just called it bounce But this was a very unique cool little game. So let's look at it up close so Bounces is a game that came out in 1985 and it's kind of a sports slash fighting game and it came out both for the Commodore 64 and the ZX Spectrum and how, what you do is points are scored by either you can catch or throw that bouncing ball into the goal or you can knock your opponent out with the ball and shoot it at them or have hand-to-hand -hand combat and all the while you're being hampered by uh, being attached to the wall by this uh, like elastic sh uh, string band or rubber band that's attached to you and uh, it it was a fun game I actually enjoyed it quite a bit and it's an awesome two-player game and and it's kind of like a futuristic game and you could compete against a c c computer also or you could compete like I said as a two player games so whoever has the most points at the end that's who the winner is so that's bounces let's go ahead and look on to the next game so next we're not looking at a game at all we're going to be looking at a utility I don't know why I have a random utility on here called disk alignment so this was just a quick overview of this we won't look at this very long but supposed to be able to align your disk drive if you ever got out of alignment never used it looks like it cost $29.95 to get the uh, instruction book on how to use it so that's pretty much it but that's the only utility that was on here so let's now go on to the next game <laughs> So the next game is the Transformers, and I love the Transformers as a kid. I love the cartoon. Uh, love to be able to, you know, watching the cartoon and everything about it. So when I did get a game about it, I thought it was just awesome. And it and this looked like it had high potential to be very good. Um, I wanted it to be cool, and in in my mind, it was cool because you actually got to play the different characters so the transformers is a platform shoot 'em up game and it came out in 1986 uh it was released both on the commodore and on the uh spectrum and i liked it i like to be you know be able to be the autobots and what you do is you're searching for like four parts of a of a cube which has been scattered around and, and you got to find it and then the decepticons 
are also looking for the cubes and they're also attacking you while you're doing it and trying to retrieve it. So I believe you've got Ultimus Prime, Hound, Jazz, Mirage, and uh, Bumblebee that you can control. I thought this one was pretty cool. I, I, like I said, I loved the Transformers as a kid and now that I had a game that I also could play, play uh, each of the different characters, it was just a, a fun one. So I give this game definitely a thumbs up. So that's the Transformers. Now let's move on to the next one. So the next game we're going to look at is Blade Runner, which is a game that is inspired by the 1982 film Blade Runner. It, it's technically, it was based on the film soundtrack. The publishers were unable to obtain a license for a film tie-in for the Commodore 64 and the ZX Spectrum and the Amstrad CPC. And it didn't get a lot of great reviews. Most of the reviews were negative. I was not much of a fan of this game either. I just couldn't get into it. I'm not really sure what I was doing. Um, I would give it a thumbs down to tell you the truth. I just just didn't enjoy this game, but it was on this floppy, so it was one that I wanted to share. And plus, it had kind of the tie-in to the the movie, so you know, had high hopes, but kind of let me down. So let's jump to the back side of the floppy and go over that now. So the next thing we're going to look at, the very first one on this backside, is a game called The Last V8. And it's a racing game that was uh, came out by Mastertronic and was released in 1985. Came out on the, for the Commodore 64 and the Atari and the Amstrad. And basically you just control this uh, futuristic car. The music for this game was done by Rob Hubbard, who we're all you know, a pretty good fan of. And the, the timeline actually is, it's the time of 2008 and the world's been devastated a few years earlier by a great nuclear war that left a few survivors. So this actually is happening in, in 2008. And the last V8 was actually one of the few commercial games to run in native mode on the Commodore 128. Uh, the 128 version has more levels, three instead of only two levels. Uh, the first level, the one missing in the C64 version, has a more complex mission objectives. I thought the controls on this game were just awful. I wasn't a big fan. I, I thought the graphics looked good and it looked like it had great potential, but just playing it, it just wasn't easy to do, wasn't easy to control. I'd give it a, I'd give it a B minus, a C plus, um, for a game. So, did you play this one? What are your memories on the last VA? So let's move on to the next game. So next, I'm going to be looking at a game called Schizophrenia, and th this game is a weird, odd game that came also out in 1985. So all these games are all around that same range, 85, 86. In this game, you're this nerd that you're in a lab and you're helping your uh, scientist how to do stuff and you figured out how to clone yourself. So there's two of you running around. One of them is the clone, one is you, and the clone's always causing problems and you got to get your clone back to wherever it joins you guys back together again is the goal of this game. I did not play this game a lot at all because I really had no clue what I was doing until I just looked up when I pulled up this game because I was just like, what am I supposed to be doing? This is ridiculous. I give this game a big F. I thought it was ridiculous. Um, not as bad as uh, some of the games I played in the past. I mean, it, it had at least some kind of potential, but I don't know. This guy's just crazy. How they walk, everything about it is just weird. So I give it a thumbs down, but wanted to show it to you guys as part of the collection. And uh, sometimes you get good ones, sometimes you get bad ones. So let's move on now to the next one. So next is Rockbox, and Rockbox has a, is one of those uh, demos where they put all the different kinds of sounds, not all, but they, they put different sounds of, from games and so forth where you can go through each one and listen to the different sounds and hear, hear you know, pull directly from it without playing a game. And there's a lot of demos out here that rip the, 
music or the sounds from games. And I always thought they were pretty cool, but this one's called Rockbox, so just want to show you guys. That's everything on this floppy. That's our floppy deep dive. So let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. So guys, that's it. That's the whole floppy. That's everything's on it. I hope you saw some games that you liked. I really like Bounce. It's uh, one that I did play a lot in the 80s. I thought that was really cool. Definitely a cool two-player game. Also like the Transformers. I was huge into Transformers when I was a kid in the 80s, and I just thought that was really cool. Wasn't the greatest game or so forth, but was just really fun to be able to play those characters. So you know that's what I liked about it so which games did you like which games have you never seen before leave your comments uh, down in the comments section give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you haven't subscribed to me yet please subscribe and so until next time thank you for joining me on another floppy deep dive